Nick Lewis with us, CFL Receiving King. I wanted to ask you your thoughts on the Spring League. I apologize to you and Drew Tate and anybody. I went to sleep at halftime of the Alphas game last week. Drew Tate's team. I missed the fight that Drew Tate was involved in. <laughs> Two days later, I had him on the air, and I didn't ask him about it because I didn't know about it. What happened? This is a little scrabble. <laughs> right. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No, not yeah. not really. And it was just it just so happened the time up. You know, it looked like the quarterback was frustrated. Drew was in his happy mood and um I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look like Drew says anything to him or anything. It just looks like the quarterback took offense to something and yeah, just kind of reached for Drew. And Drew kind of protected himself and got to a squabble, but you know, I need to teach Drew some of those uh jujitsu moves and how to take care of himself out there. You don't need to be getting dumped on by athletes. Well, you, hey, listen, though, you played with Drew a long time. You won yeah. great cups together, and we had him here as a rookie in Saskatchewan. He always seemed sleepwalking in a way. He never seemed really emotional to me. No. Well, that's what I saw. Of course, like he always had a visor. A. Yeah, but then as a coach, he's an animal. Yeah, he's, he's very intense. Yeah. But it's inward. Right, it's not really outward. Uh, I remember sometimes people say like, "I hate his attitude when he comes off the field. He's like yelling and screaming at people." I'm like, "No, usually Drew's yelling and screaming at himself." Right? He comes off and he's he'll be pointing like this, but he's he's actually yelling at himself because he believes he can be so much better. And Drew had a great record. I mean, I don't know if people really understand. Like, I think Drew won 12 of his first 15 games as a starter, something like that. And then Bo came in and Bo did the same thing, and Bo was younger. Drew got hurt those two years and missed most of those seasons, yeah. uh, 12 and 13, and that's what gave Bo the leeway to to take in that starting position. But but Drew was a great player and great competitor. Well, it's very clear that uh, he'll be coaching for a long time. Uh, from our viewer, Robin and Prince Albert, he says, man, the RP show needs – I'll do the walking, talking, you do the watching. <laughs> shirts, bunny hugs, merch, etc. Well, we just put shirts on sale that say, put your balls on the table. We can't have every <laughs> saying on there, but you can buy them at rodpetersonshop.com. Mandy speaks for a lot of Ed, uh, CFL fans. She's in Edmonton, and she wants to know, I wonder if Nick Lewis has any hopes for a 2021 CFL season as coach and what his next steps are. You want to answer that? What are yours personally? And also, do you think the CFL is playing in 2021? I do think the CFL will, will play in 2021. I think they'll have something sustainable, uh, put a great product back on the field. And, you know, one of the things is, is that I, I, I don't think that they need to do one hub city. I think they could hub each city because everybody charters, right? So now you can just fly out of your own airport, charter, go in, hotel, play the team, come back. And you you do the isolation at your own hotel in your own city. I think that would be better uh, for a lot of people. Um, but as a coach, wise man, I love to coach. That was my dream job to coach. I've always loved teaching and, and helping people. Uh, I've trained kids for twelve years. I got one in Alabama and Utah and Northwestern and, and South Dakota, or North Dakota State. And so now it's like. How can I still be invested, right? And that's where AO comes, and that's also where I can still give back, right? And to go out, uh, still train guys. I still talk to some professionals, and I see some of their films and stuff like that, and just I just want to help people. Well, what's interesting about that is a lot of people think, and you know this, oh, you're a player. You must automatically want to be a coach. And it's a small fraction of players that want to be coaches. Yeah, you know, We had Ricky Ray on. Last week, two weeks ago, he wants no part of coaching, at least not right now. It's hard. And it's been two years, and I don't think he's anywhere closer to because most guys don't want to spend the time on that. Ricky has his own thing. You don't mind putting in the work. Drew Tate doesn't mind putting in the work. But it takes a special kind of person. Yeah, coaching's hard. Very hard. If, it's, if you were really good at playing, coach is even harder for a lot of people. If, if I wouldn't have trained kids for the last 12 years – I would suck at coaching because most people that are really good at something, they found a way to do it, whether competitiveness or they found an edge. You can't teach the edge, right? <laughs> no. So when you come into it, 
you can't teach that edge that you had. You just you can only teach the fundamental skill to how to better themselves. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of that with AC when he first started coaching, right? What he did to be successful, he couldn't do that with Cato. He can't tell Cato you need to study eight hours a day because Cato's not the type of person to sit down and study eight hours a day. Of course. But you got to be able to still get him prepared and get him better in that time without expecting him to do what you did or having that edge. So coaching's very hard for a lot of players that are really good. And that's why most of the best coaches sometimes are the backup quarterbacks because they're used to relating to the starting quarterback, what they're seeing. They're used to relating to the coaches. So they've already in that role pretty much. And, you know, Sean Payton. What Who he was did. he? Belichick. Yeah, he backed up. He backed up Troy Aikman, right? And he's relating to the coaches. He's relating to the quarterback. He's relating to players on the team. Right, but it wasn't the star. It, yes. And that's why I said Belichick. But, yeah. I mean, you lived in Canada long enough that you know Gretzky's the barometer for everything. You know, hockey, we always say, Gretzky got traded so you could get traded. And this is why <laughs> Gretzky wasn't the best coach. Yep. It was very hard for him to relate what was natural to him. Uh, yeah. In the time we have left, I want to ask you about AO Sports. AO Sports, man. Uh, it's a platform that I'm building. Um, I, I built a wonderful team around me. And we're, we're bringing this to the market in the beginning of 2021. Uh, it's going to be a collection of athletes. We, we're going to have every uh, athletes from every sport in North America. And, you know, we're going to grow it out even more. But it's just going to be a lot of amazing content. Um, a lot of great training, and we're going to have fun. We're going to be very event-driven, so we're going to be giving away VIP trips to major sporting events. Uh, we're going to be giving away dream trips, so whatever your sports dream trips are. I know a lot of Canadians' dream trips, their, their, their dream trip would be a high school Friday night game in Texas, a college football game on Saturday, and a pro football game on Sunday. And so we're going to be giving away dream trips, and we want to be fan engagement, but we also want to be really high-quality content, content-driven. And it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So stay tuned, basically. Yeah, yeah. Follow Nick and all his social media uh, channels for that. Nick, this has been awesome. Great to see you back. Yeah. Quarantined and healthy. <laughs> and we'll do it again soon. Yes, indeed. It's CFL Receptions King Nick Lewis Dupes joins us for Viewer Takeover next. Hang on, everybody. It's the RP Show. You're watching on Game Plus TV Network, Facebook Live, and listen live at rodpeterson.com. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.